Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another video. Look at this beautiful countryside. We got a long, long driveway to go into. We are down on the eastern shore of Maryland in Cecilton, Cecilton, Maryland, Earlville area here uh, close to the bay looks like they left some corn stand out there you know probably to attract the deer they let corn standing here and there to attract the deer that way they can eat makes for good hunting you know <laughs> so it looks like they left a little bit stand there but there is a place way back in here so I guess we'll get to it eventually Still in the day cab for this run. And then uh, towards the end of the video here, we'll go get the Kenworth. But I kind of wanted to film this. I'm like, this looks like it's going to be a beautiful delivery. And so far, it hasn't disappointed, you know? driveways over a mile long so it's not really a, I mean it just sent me to the end of the driveway so I don't know we'll figure it out I just cleaned the truck this morning by the way <laughs> so <laughs> this is what I get man you clean the truck you get a mile and a half long dusty driveway but we're taking it easy you know because we don't want to dust the place out construction on in on the next farm so I'm guessing that's where it's at looks like they got a little produce stand up ahead here in this little shed Got their egg straw here. Yeah, so they got a little store in there selling eggs and different things. So I didn't bring the piggyback along because they got a lift here. So we'll see how everything goes. Hopefully, I can just unload myself unless the contractor's here. We'll see how it goes. and I think the Amishman told me there's like 12 I don't know like a dozen families down here or something like that it's not a big community but yeah maybe 12 families or so something like that beautiful farm back in here I mean just a beautiful setting it's so wide open and flat down here it's such a nice area to, to farm but at the same time, you know, you got to irrigate and stuff because you got the sandy soil. So it's also not easy farming. You got to irrigate. Uh, 
All right, so I'm gonna back on in there. He said you don't have anything seated in the field, so I can take the field as much as I need to. Looks like the contractors are here, so they'll probably get me unloaded. peaceful than this it is so quiet back in here you know I miss living in a long driveway like this I grew up on a you know whatever half a mile driveway and off the road and I miss it you know because this is just so beautiful you got the main road that comes down through here out you know all the way other side of them trees but you got a tree line there block the noise it's just a beautiful setting back here there's about I guess three properties back in here the cows out there this morning he is uh, getting it on loaded I, <clears throat> he came out immediately which I appreciated because we got a really, really full day for this truck again. I'm doing the morning shift. We get back. Roman's got equipment to haul. So, you know, like usual, we got to keep the truck moving because we only got one right now. Like I said, stay tuned for the second half of the video here or the end of the video when we go grab the my buddy's Kenworth again so yeah beautiful beautiful setting here and like I said there's not many Amish families down here I think a lot of people probably don't even realize that there's Amish down here because they're all back in some of them are along you know along some of the main roads but they're all back in these long driveways So they got two lifts out here now. The sun's out now, so whew, bright. As soon as the sun comes up over the trees when you're at a place like this out in the open, it's like that kind of a little harder to get good footage then. <laughs> Maybe we'll be able to um, see the kids walking to school. I don't know. They probably all just, you know, walk out there come across the fields and all that good stuff to get there probably come from all directions they just got this side to unload yet and the two packs there so we'll be out of here in about 10 minutes
we'll go back. We're gonna go back and get another one. Deliver a partial to E-Town and a partial to New Holland right near the shop. And then we'll take the truck back and then uh, Roman will be taken over from there, so. Yep, everything went well. Everything went well with that one. this historic place you know historic buildings and and this place got a lot of history I don't know much about it but some guys from back home bought the place I guess some investors bought the place Bohemia Manor go check it out now DOT loves to patrol this road route 213 this morning when I come down through up ahead here at this intersection, he was, uh, yeah, he was working hard, man. He had a little, little hot shot pulled over, a little dually work truck with a dump trailer. Those are the guys they love to pop, you know, but had him pulled over in the dark this morning. I mean, it was still dark when I'm coming down through here, but he had him pulled to the side in an unsafe way, you know crazy guys pulling people over on a small shoulder like this in the dark it's just that's horrible you can't be doing that but hey they tell us what to do but we can't tell them what to do you know what I'm saying blah blah whatever you know so we'll see if I don't see him anywhere here now 
Right up here, he had somebody pulled over just before the light. Don't look like he's around anymore. And that's good. That's a good thing for us. bridge here over the canal Chesapeake City actually a beautiful place to visit if you want to just come visit go out to eat they got a couple nice restaurants down there on the water Chesapeake City is cool actually going down the road but but anyway I'd like to use the 360 for that mount it somewhere inside the truck get some you know footage of the interior and them shifting gears so we'll see how all that goes but I'm excited to have a 360 camera back in in the mix because my other one as you guys know I lost I had set it on the back of the truck while I was getting loaded and I just I just forgot to get it back off. Nice old Mac cab over going the other way. But anyway, uh, so we'll have a 360 camera back in the mix. I was just kind of waiting to buy one because they're expensive, man. I tell you what, you know, you want a good one and they're expensive, you know. It's 350, 400 bucks. They're not cheap. Well, they're actually more like 500, the latest ones, but, you know, it's, I'm making a little bit of money off of YouTube now, so I'm trying to use that money to buy camera equipment and all that, you know, not not just get, get it out of my personal money, so, yeah, it's working out. I, my goal is these, these, especially these interview videos, I would love to get some local companies you know you interview these drivers and you interview or uh, you know they they tell you who did the interior where they bought their parts who did the exterior and you're given all these shout outs and I wish I could get connected with some of these local companies and get you know maybe a sponsorship here and there but I don't know we'll see if it happens we'll see maybe it'll happen eventually I don't know over here to the right everybody's got their Halloween decorations up nasty you know all this evil stuff in the yard you know <laughs> I don't know why that amuses people but hey whatever back roads here to get up to their warehouse we're gonna load up there and then go back to the yard whoop there comes a school bus I almost started passing I forgot the corner was there I was too busy talking 
sorry, ma'am. I'll just wait. I know there's nothing coming now, but just wait till we get past that road. Should be good. countryside on these uh, back roads down here this is a really nice route to take it's not the best for trucks but if you know where you're going you'll be fine you know that's the biggest thing if you're used to driving these roads and you're fine
we got loaded up guys this one's actually heading to New Holland first and then we go to E-Town we got a little bit of harvesting action going on here in front of us picking some corn for a while so it's just so dirty and my fan still wants to kick in which is really annoying because it just makes dust all over the place where are these guys gonna want their stuff is the question let's hop out and ask that way we know all right guys we made it in here got all the straps off already and yeah like i said the entire load gets dropped here i guess they're putting up a new house so let's get the piggyback off get it all unloaded here just going to put it around the front beside where they're putting the new structure here
like that we got her all loaded I think I'll mount the camera on the back of the lift get some road footage Okay guys, it is the next day. The next evening, the following evening, we're doing something a little different. We got two pieces loaded up. We gotta go just outside of Lancaster City to get two more 75s Kubota skid loaders. And then we're gonna head to Western North Carolina down where Hurricane Helene hit. We're gonna be going to Black Mountain, North Carolina taking these down we're donating the truck and trailer here taking these down for one of our customers that we haul precast for him and a bunch of amish guys are going down helping out with hurricane relief so i got my coffee mugs ready and my coffee pot because i have a funeral to go to uh friday my wife's grandma passed away so we're gonna make this quick. You don't need to have any log records if you're hauling stuff for the hurricane relief. 
that period has now been extended to i'm not sure when but so we're gonna run down and run back i doubt if we'll take the time to sleep because we got to be back friday morning so yeah i don't know we'll see how it goes all together this should take about 20 hours something like that we're not going to get a backhaul we're just running down coming up if anything we'll grab a piece of equipment in virginia or something but i doubt it we'll see how it all works out but anyway i'm not going to be filming a whole lot of it because as you guys know filming in the dark just you know doesn't work too well so yeah i went to the viewing tonight with my wife and i made sure i said hey is it okay if i do this as long as i'm back for friday she said yes you go ahead and do that that is fine with me so that's what we're doing roman was up in athens pa getting that lift today you know up there the one we took up to the new york line on the previous video so he went to do that today and moved it to percasy i think or somewhere and then went to pick these two pieces up so now he's out of the truck and i'm in it's about 8 p.m so uh anyway without further ado let's keep moving we're gonna fill the truck with fuel i buttered the tires up a little bit put some tire shine on there so we look classy while hauling the equipment so uh yeah load a couple more pieces up and down to north carolina we go i know it's very dark here but with my work lights on, you might be able to get a good look at the load. Kubota 65, Kubota 97, and at the Coochie 130. Let's head south, guys. Okay, guys, we made it down here to Black Mountain, North Carolina. Oh, it's... <coughs> It's pretty surreal, you know, being down here, seeing it. Uh, it's just sad. I mean, a lot of these businesses are closed. See, some of them open, but a lot of them are closed. The parking lots are all brown and stained up from the mud and the water. You know, this is, a, what, a month later. It's just sad, I tell you gives you kind of an eerie feeling going through town here you got uh, still a good amount of businesses that look like they were fine but there's also a lot of them closed and you can tell they're being gutted out you know redone so yeah poor people down here It's gonna be a little dark yet when we get here, uh, when we get to the job, but might be able to get footage of onloading, I don't know. The Amish guys are coming down with a bus uh, tomorrow. Well, tonight actually, they're gonna start tonight. And they'll be here tomorrow morning bright and early at like four or five o'clock and i think they're gonna be here for like a uh let me see what do you say wednesday tuesday or wednesday so that's pretty cool okay guys well we got it on loaded and it's just doesn't get daylight this time of the year you know so unloaded it in the dark and didn't really want to video the place where we were unloading anyway so um didn't get into that just unloaded it and got out of there so sorry i didn't get any footage of what was going on there but it was just too dark so we're heading out just hopping back on 40 here interesting thing is my brother's down here right now in black mountain making a delivery but I think he's probably sleeping now. He wasn't sure. He said he'll text me if he's unloaded early. And then we'll go gra grab some breakfast somewhere. But uh, I don't think that's going to happen. Because I tried to get a hold of him here. And he didn't text back. So I'm guessing he's probably napping.
there's so many trees down here um, coming up or coming in for, out 40 it's crazy now I wish it'd be daylight because you know the trees are just beautiful I guess you can you guys can kind of see it the trees are just gorgeous what do we got here all trucks next right and by law all trucks must enter information station all right This is just to tell you what the hill's like. You know, it's a map with the hill on it. Over there to the right. <laughs> Telling you where the runaway ramps are and all that. Which we're empty, so no big deal. We'll still take it easy, but. here there's a couple of spots where it looked like there was some massive mudslides just crazy
once again, the Kenworth guys, um, I know I'd said stay tuned for the end when we go get to Kenworth, but with me having a funeral tomorrow, a viewing tonight, a funeral tomorrow, and all that stuff, uh, <coughs> probably won't include that in the video. You know, I might have to pick it up Sunday if it's all ready to go. So, that won't be at the end of the video like I had originally said, but we will be getting that next week. Oh, we got a few loads of precast to haul. Oh, we have a load of lumber going to uh, Niagara, or uh, just west, just east of Niagara Falls, up there in New York. So, I might get you guys in on the mix there. Make a video out of that. And, uh, the truck goes into Sindal today. So, I'm going to officially start on the engine. They said two weeks, but, you know, with rebuilds, you always figure at least three. Uh, waiting on the machine shop, something goes a little bit wrong, etc. You know, I always figure on three weeks to uh, do the work. And, yeah, so next week we'll have the Kenworth. And, uh, we will... Yeah, probably, I don't know if we're going to have a backhaul from New York. I mean, hopefully we can find something, but it's... Yeah, now it kind of seems like slim pickings right now. I don't think we're going to have lumber out of there uh, to bring back like we do sometimes, the hemlock. I don't, don't look like that's going to happen. So we'll search around a little bit, see if we can find some to bring along back. Be a little far to deadhead, but they will pay us both ways if we can't find anything. Corey Johnston here in front of us. He's got a really nice rig. And we'll probably be doing a video with it uh, with Corey and his truck this or next month. I had said something to him about it, and uh, he thought maybe sometime in November, so that's exciting. He's got uh, such a nice truck. Just a nice rig. guys I stopped for fool here in uh, at Smiley's here in Raffine Virginia but I'm gonna go over to White's over to the big truck stop to get food because this food that food in there just I don't know Ugh. <laughs> maybe I'll just go over to Papa John's and get some and they also got like a little place over there where you can get cooked food so I lost the hubcap. Whatever. So anyway, we got fuel, and I locked the truck. So I'm gonna run over to the White's Travel Plaza over there to get food. 
and then we'll drive the rest of the way home. Now they do have a Quaker steak and lube over yonder, which very good place to eat there. I've ate there multiple times, but I don't really feel like waiting on food, so we'll just eat something quick here. I could have just came over here for fuel, but these Foo Islands get crazy over here. So, and it's a little cheaper at the other place. So that's why I decided to go over there, but. So as you can see, they got a Nathan's, a Popeye's. Um, Papa John's Subway. Thought there was a door here. Oh well, we'll go around this way. Foo Islands are always busy here. Decided to get some Papa John's boneless wings pizza. So, this is why so many people like this place. Because it's always clean plenty of options they have like a deli in there with a bunch of stuff too got clothing here a barber shop and they also have a big chrome shop on the other side of the building so got everything you need here Would have been nice to get a shower while we were in there, but I didn't feel like taking the time, you know? But it would have been nice just to freshen up. Oh well. We're gonna get back out there to the truck, head on out right away. I wanna keep moving, that way I'm home in time tonight and all that good stuff. I did waste, you know, about 45 minutes here getting fuel and food. And waiting on the food using the restroom but we'll be all right should be home by six we made it back to lancaster guys and after we passed Corey there in harrisonburg i didn't really get any more footage i was on the phone the rest of the way home with a few different people. So, got a full schedule next week, so we were just getting everything figured out. You know, yeah, so anyway, that's gonna be pretty much it for this video. I wish, like I said, I wish I would've been able to get more footage. Uh, you know, loading and unloading that equipment, but it was dark, so anyway, we got it done. We got it done, made really good time. So we are back, just getting back to the shop. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next week.